was like feeling it. <laughs> All of a sudden, it was not. I thought it was a mannequin, and oh my goodness, it was not a mannequin. It was it was a dude. So I was feeling up a dude. <laughs> my channel and for you guys who are new here welcome welcome my name is G and today I'm gonna be talking about my 10 most embarrassing experience having retinitis pigmentosa so for those of you guys who do not know what retinitis pigmentosa is it is an eye condition that leads to blindness so um, if you guys want to check out what it means you can check out my previous video it is called retinitis pigmentosa vision for 2018 and it talks about retinitis pigmentosa in layman's term what are the symptoms and what are my experiences with it so this video I will be talking about my embarrassing moments and I'm pretty sure um, most of you guys or all of us have embarrassing moments in our experience in our lives but um, having retinitis pigmentosa which is basically I'm sort of blind this means that there are millions of embarrassing moments that I've experienced but these are the 10 things that I will never ever forget in my entire life every time I think about it it either gives me giggles or chills or I might be like terrified of what I did and all that so yeah without further ado I am going to start with my number 10 so back in my college days um, I usually hang out with my friends um, we were just waiting for our class to start so it was like around uh, five o'clock in the evening so in the Philippines um, usually the sun sets around like five or even like earlier but yeah usually it's like 5 or 5 30 and it gets really really dark at 6 already so it was kind of like the dim dim part of the afternoon so <clears throat> we were just goofing around we were just like laughing at each other so one of my friend he was teasing me and he was like making he wasn't really making fun of me but he was just like teasing me like uh, I don't know I can't remember what he was teasing me about so we were like giggling laughing and all of a sudden I just had the urge to like slap him in the face with a book so what I did was I picked up this thick of a book I picked it up and I swung as hard as I can and then suddenly I thought I I thought I was like I thought I hit him hard but then it was my other friend that I hit and it was so embarrassing and the worst part was he was not expecting the blow in his face and he was like oh my god and I was like oh my, oh my god I thought it was him and I'm, I'm not gonna say names because I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna be saying any names but yeah I was like oh my goodness I thought it was him and it's you and he's like oh my god what did you do but he was like laughing at the same time and crying and I'm like I'm so sorry I can't see I thought it really it was him and the other guy was like he was laughing and also apologizing to the other guy because it was such a hard blow on the face you could just imagine the, the this thick of a book and it like, like his face did that and yeah it was so embarrassing because I I think there was like a couple people who saw it and I it was just a whole fiasco it was crazy but at the end of the day we were just all laughing and I had to apologize a million times but he said it's okay I understand um, <laughs> and I was just like yeah I'm not gonna be slapping anyone with books anymore cuz that was like a such a bad experience for me I was so ashamed of what I did but at the same time they were like you know what it's okay we understand you know everyone has their laughs and giggles and yeah so that was my number 10 so this experience was in high school so um, in our high school I was not in a co-ed school um, we still have boys and we still have girls but the girls are separate the bo girls and boys are separated so the girls are in the fourth floor and the boys are in the third floor so whenever we want to go to the ground floor we have to pass by the boys floor to go down the, the ground floor um so this was during our snack period so um we were planning to go get snacks and our snack place was in the ground floor so yeah we had to pass by um the boys section and usually the boys 
during snack time, they always like crowd, crowd around the stairs leading to the fourth floor. So there was always like like 30 boys or even more just sitting in the corridor just you know like sitting um looking straight at the, at the stairs it's so weird like i don't know maybe they were girl watching or something so yeah and during this time i had an identity crisis so i was like probably tomboyish so i was in my first year high school this time so i was kind of tomboyish i was like wearing everything baggy so i think um I was wearing like a like a jogging pants because it was like we had to wear that for our physical education if we have physical education at that day so we're wearing like bag I was wearing baggy um, jogging pants or sweatpants and then like really really baggy um, shirt and then um, you remember that song called um, it's getting hot in here by Nelly um, where he wears like a like a bandana or something in his head and he's got like a like a band-aid in his face so yeah imagine that on me i had that both that bandana and that band-aid on my face and i had like a short pony t uh, or a, yeah a low pony and like my, my my hair was just like a mess like it was basically i was like if you look at me i was like yeah he is a lesbian or a tomboy or you know i don't even know what what i was called but yeah I was acting like a dude, I feel so cool and stuff like that. I was just like, yeah, come on, man. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm a dude. <laughs> it's just crazy. So yeah, um, I was with my friends and we were planning to go down to get snacks. And I was like, we were descending down the stairs. And suddenly, because I was kind of blind, I thought it was the last step. And boom, it was not. So it was the third step you know it was third step before hitting the ground so thank god i was not wearing any any like hard shoes or you know like maybe like a uh, heeled shoes or something like that i was wearing rubber shoes so i just basically slid down but on the floor but first on the floor so all the guys were like <gasps> like they were like all shocked of what happened because they were like looking like just straight at the stairs and suddenly someone fell down the stairs so I would I'm probably guessing they were like waiting for that thing to happen with anyone who passes by and then there was me so <laughs> and what was really really crazy was that it my reaction it was priceless if I think about it what I did was I just picked myself up and I just looked at my friend and I was like yeah, I just did that. And then we walked off. Like, nothing happened. I didn't even feel embarrassed. I didn't feel shy at all. I didn't really feel anything. I just felt I was cool. And, you know, like, I was just with the boys. Or, or, or how do you say that one? Like, one of the boys. that You know, like, yeah, I don't care. I'm not that girly. It's like that. <laughs> it was so embarrassing. And I'm pretty sure one of the reasons why I didn't really care about what their reaction was was because I couldn't see their reaction like I couldn't see at all so yeah that was my ninth experience and it was so it was just so funny I just I just when I think about it it was like wow she's crazy she didn't even feel anything but yeah that was my ninth experience so this time I was in my elementary and um, when I was in the elementary, I love running around. I was just like a crazy kid. I just love running around and, you know, playing tag, just playing everything. So yeah, this time we were like playing tags. I was like, ah, like run, 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 run. I don't want him to catch me and stuff like that. It was just, it was just so much fun. And suddenly, poof, like what happened? Like my face was on a pile of garbage like just just my whole face was on the pile of garbage and everyone like rushed towards me and they were like are you okay are you okay and i'm like yeah i'm fine but like what happened like why didn't i i was i was so shocked like why did i not see this pile of garbage it's so big like it was like probably knee high and i didn't see it so that was like i was kind of embarrassed because it was a pile of garbage on my face so i was like Ew. but but also at the same time i was like super like shocked like what what why did i not even see it and um i think at that time my rp was like 
probably, you know, sneaking in, getting, maybe like getting a little worse, getting a little worse, but I probably did not notice it because I was just like playing all over, all over. So yeah, that was like, uh, it was, it was, it was a crazy experience, but you know what? At that time, um, I do not even know what embarrassing feels like. I might have been like, wow. There's a garbage on my face. That's probably what I felt. But but other than that, I wasn't really embarrassed of what I did. Like I, yeah, it was it was it was funny thinking about it. Like now, I was like how how crazy I was and how lucky I was that I had that experience because um at least my RP was not full blown at that time, so I could still run around and you know experience being child. So yeah, that was my eighth experience. When we were in high school, we had to attend flag ceremony every day. And um, we basically have to form lines on the field. So we were like in a soccer field. And um, we have to, um, yeah, we have to pay respect for our flag, do our, you know, like our Pledge of Allegiance or whatever we call it, Patatang Makabayan and all that. But anyways, on our school, for some reason there are sheeps like they there's probably like three sheeps i don't know probably like four when i was in fourth year because um uh, they bred or something so there were like sheeps like really really dirty nasty sheeps because um you know how sheeps are white yeah they're not white they're brown so i don't know probably no one took care of them or someone just loved them so much that they just let them run around that that campus so yeah um we were we were in a flag ceremony and um, we were lining to for the flag and then um, we were like doing a march or something when when you know you go towards your classroom we have to do a march and stuff like that so I was in front of the line because I was like one of the smallest person and then we were like marching and stuff like that For some reason, I did not see the sheep. He was like just like lying around, relaxing, and I was just marching and marching. And then, boof! I like stumbled on him. <laughs> Everyone was like staring at me, like, like. <gasps> And then the sheep freaked out so much and like it ran towards people and everyone was like freaking out. It was like, oh my god! And the worst part was like, there was like 500 people there and it was just a big chaos because like the sheeps were like freaking out and everyone was freaking out and I was so embarrassed because I was the reason why the sheep freaked out so yeah it was it was just so that was just so funny and it was hilarious and everyone was talking about it and and they were probably thinking like why didn't she saw that sheep like because I'm pretty sure not everyone know that I was blind in our school and everyone my my classmate knew that I was blind so they knew why why but they felt so bad for me because you know I was in my fourth year high school I think and you know when you're fourth year you know you're like in a status quo you're like yes you're like we're the we're the oldies and you know we're like the cool kids and then suddenly boof I like just like like just wrecked my reputation <laughs> because of that stupid sheep like I hate that sheep and yeah it was, that was my seventh experience so um, this experience um, it's not really funny or embarrassing it was more of like a terrifying but also embarrassing because I'm, I'm just gonna explain it to you later why it was embarrassing but yeah it was mostly terrifying so <clears throat> I was already here in the United States and um, I was about to get married um, in the Philippines. So um, what, what what happened was um, we we planned like a like a church wedding in the Philippines. So we were still in the United States, but we were going to the Philippines to do that wedding. So yeah, I was I was here in the United States, and um, the, um, I was with my sister in law, um, her fiance that time, and me. So we were like the three musketeers. We do like all sorts of crazy stuff, like um, just just all sorts of crazy stuff together. Like we, they took me rollerblading. It was it doesn't it's not really crazy, but for me as a blind p- person, what we did was crazy. So they took me like rollerblading. Maybe they t- taught me like skateboarding and stuff like that. So for a blind person, like there it takes eyes to do all those stuff. But um, with this experience, we were doing biking. So. Um, instead of um, taking the car to the gym, we decided to take a bike to to go to the gym. So 
they were like, yeah, let's take a bite. And I was like, yeah, let's do that. Like, yeah, let's let's take a bike and let's bi- ride bikes together. And the worst part was it was not even like a neighborhood type of, you know, biking where there's not that much car. It was a busy, 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 busy street. So, um, yeah, I we we took a busy street. Um, if you guys know, um, if you you've been to Oregon, that's where I was, uh, particularly Gresham. So, um, if you go to that Division Street, that street's really busy. So that's where we took, and we had to go to like a Planet Fitness um, gym. So, yeah, we we rode bikes and. Um, went to the gym and stuff like that so i'm pretty sure you guys may be wondering how the hell is she biking if she's saying that she's blind so this is how it is i have rp i have a tunnel vision so what i did was i was just staring right at my sister-in-law because she was in front of me and my my um her fiance was uh before was um at the back so i was basically in the middle so yeah i was just basically staring and f- staring at her the whole time we were biking and my br- and basically he's already my brother in law because they're married right now so he was just giving me instructions behind me so that's how we did it so yeah um so we were biking when we were done going to the gym um we went back home so um you know they're in uh, oregon um they have that tram the train the train um, public transportation so um when we were biking we uh we took the road where there was like a train track so i did not see how like i saw the train track and I like because I saw it I slowed down but I did not because I don't have depth perception I did not know how deep the the dips are like how like how the curves are of the of the train track so I mean I was biking there right so when I went through it suddenly I was just on the ground like like I basically like my whole body flew out of the bike because I think the the wheels was like I don't know I I just didn't know what happened but I was basically off my bike and my brother-in-law he was like he jumped right out of his bike to help me and what was worse was that there was like heavy traffic behind me and thank god that everyone stopped because if if um if you if it would have been like worse like i would have been hit by a car if they didn't stop and um there was even one person who honked at us and my brother-in-law was like flipping out like she's blind you can't see it i'm like it's fine don't worry about it but yeah um it was such a scary experience and and yeah um the worst part was i was telling this to my family in uh in the philippines and they were like freaking out so much because like why are you doing this like you know you're gonna get married and and all these filipino superstitious believe like if they say if you're getting married you should take care of yourself because there's gonna be lots of accidents that we're gonna that are there are um waiting to happen because you know like i don't know why they they have the superstitious belief but they say you are the most prone to accident you might die before you get wet and all these crazy stuff so yeah they were freaking out and and you know i i just thought about it and i was like wow what i did was really 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 um dangerous and you know like you're blind stop you know biking in a busy street you can bike in your neighborhood but not in a busy street and um you know i i could have like um endangered myself i could have endangered a lot of people so yeah that was like crazy and that was that was yeah one of my craziest experience and it was embarrassing because i've seen there was a lot of people there and um because there was lots of traffic and and i'm pretty sure they don't know i'm blind but yeah they saw what happened and they probably you know went home and told you know told that experience like i just saw someone fly off their bike <laughs> yeah so that was the embarrassing part but yeah that was my um sixth experience so i was in high school and i was uh with my sister so um by the way to those those of you who do not know my sisters also have rp she's even she even have it worse than me so um she's blind yeah so she's basically like me but even worse so yeah um we were in high school and uh my parents always pick us up um 
after school, so they have to pick us up. And uh, for some reasons, um, they picked us up really late this time, so it was really, really dark already. And the worst part was the school had a blackout, so everything was just super dark. And I've told you before that I was like in a big university, so it was like huge school. And um, because it was huge and it was really late, there was not really that much people anymore. And we were in the lobby, and you know how it is like big schools, there's always like urban legends and myths, and that there's like ghosts and like you know, like culture guys or something. I don't know, but yeah, me and my sister, especially my sister, she's like a scaredy cat. Oh my goodness, and she's like, mm, yeah, let's, let's find people. So, um. We kind of, when we were at the lobby, we kind of like hear a little bit of chit chats on the security guard post. So they were there, they were like guarding the gate. So we were like, yeah, let's go there. Let's, let's, let's go to where people are because it's kind of creepy and scary here. So yeah, so um, I was like, yeah, let's go. And um, so I, I took out my phone. I was going to inform my parents that we were not going to be in the lobby because they usually pick us up in the lobby. We're going to go to the guard post. So I was like, and she was like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm just texting mom and dad. So they know. She was like, um, yeah, let's go. Uh, don't worry. Don't, don't worry. I'll, I'll guide you. I'm like, okay. So I was like, yeah, let's do that. Let, let's, let's let you guide me. So I was texting and she was like guiding me. And then, poof, like, like, suddenly, I swear to God, I, 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 I've seen stars and I heard a really, really, really loud crack on my nose. Like, I swear to God, it was this, like, I was like, what happened? And <laughs> so lesson learned, never let a blind person guide you because they will probably guide you to where you will have your face smacked in a wall. <laughs> so what happened was... There was a pole and she guided me straight in the middle of the pole, like really, really straight. Like my nose was there, like, like it just couldn't be like here or here. It was like, like this, like she, it, it seemed like she targeted my nose. And if you guys can see my nose, it's really flat. I'm pretty sure that was one of the reasons why it's flat. Like, I swear to God, it like cracked, like that loud of a crack. And it was, I was like laughing and at the same time crying because it hurt so much and we were both like laughing i wasn't really mad at her because it was basically also my fault because why did i trust her because <laughs> that's what because i know she was blind but i was like yeah let's do it let's let you guide me and you know like so <laughs> it was yeah that was it was it was one of the you know, like the experience that I could never, ever, ex ever, ever forget. Especially that, you know, like I have flat nose right now and I'm going to be blaming her for all her life. Like, yeah, she's the reason why I have flat nose, even though she's not really the reason. Like, even though I already just have flat nose, but it got worse because of that. So, <laughs> yeah, that was my fifth experience. <laughs> so this was back when I was in college and, um... Thank God, during this experience, it was just me and one person that was there, but it was one of the most embarrassing experience of my life. So what happened was, um, I think I just, I, I was um, in my classroom and I decided to go to the bathroom. I think um, I had to like pee or, you know, do whatever. <laughs> so, so yeah, I went to the bathroom and for some reason, this bathroom was really, really dim. Like, like really, I don't know why they did like a dim bathroom like why but I guess I don't know but yeah this bathroom really dim and adjacent to the bathroom is like a corridor where it leads to like a stair and that place was really 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 dim as well so it, it was not a good place for me but I was like yeah I'm gonna do it I'm just gonna go to the bathroom and then and then I had my I had a purse with me because um every time I go to the bathroom I always like to you know like fix myself like maybe put some powder on or you know fix my hair or whatever and I'm pretty sure that was like my makeup bag that only has like baby powder and maybe like a lip shiner but I still have a makeup bag but yeah um I had that bag so um you know when a person walks they always like swing their hands like they swing you know like that and then so 
I went out of the bathroom and I was like walking and swinging my hands with my purse and then suddenly it got caught on something and the worst part was it was caught on a man's zipper like it was caught on a man's zipper and I was like <gasps> like why is it not moving and I was like just like and then I just realized that I was like tugging and tugging on a man's zipper and I was like just tugging and then the man was like oh like what the fuck's happening here I swear to god I was like a minute of just tugging like oh my goodness and I was so freaking embarrassed and at last it came off like when it came off I think I said sorry or I did not I don't know but I literally just ran for my life and I just did I just I didn't even see what that man looks like but I'm pretty sure he saw me and if he would have seen me she he would have been like yeah that's the girl who was like tugging me like tugging me on my pants that time so it was so embarrassing it was just it was just chaos and yeah even though there was not that much people or even though it was just the both of us just thinking about it like my purse was on a man's almost on a man's junk and I was just like you know just the tugging like <laughs> it was just so crazy so yeah that was that was my fourth experience third experience I was also in college so <laughs> so um when I was in college uh, I met up with my sister somewhere in like a like a uh, like a dim it was kind of like I can't, can't explain but it was kind of like a tunnel a tunnel leading towards like like a huge opening towards our school or something I just can't explain but I told her yeah meet me there and stuff like that and then I I think um it's either I saw her I heard her voice and so I went there and then she was like ate so she called me ate because I'm her older sister that's a Filipino thing um she's like ate um I I'm with Michael and I'm like oh, Michael I'm like oh, and I was like so excited. I was just like jumping up and down. You know why? Because um, I had we had a Michael, um, our guitarist from our band when I was in high school. So I was like totally blown away why he was visiting there. So I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And I was like, we were like in the dark tun tunnel, right? And I was like tugging him. Like I started to I love tugging. So so I was like 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 grabbing him and just like jumping up and down i was grabbing him towards the light so i could see his face because i missed the dude i was like so excited to know that he was there I'm like ah, come here come here michael and when i saw his face it was it was just not michael it was another michael it was a stranger and i was like and the worst part was my reaction was like you just can't imagine right i was like jumping up and down and then when I reached the light, I like at him. I was like, "So where are you going?" <laughs> I was like, I was, "If you were on Michael's face, you was like, what is this chick? Why is this girl so excited?" And then suddenly, like a, a shift of emotion. I was like, "Where are you both going?" <laughs> Thank God Michael, the Michael was just such a gentleman. He was like explaining to us and I didn't even explain to him what happened. So I'm pretty sure he was left dumbfounded by what happened. I didn't, we didn't even explain that we were both blind and stuff like that. But yeah, it was, it was just crazy. And me and my sister, if we talk about this experience all the time, it always makes us like crack and tear up because it was just, like, if you guys are just there in in my position like my how excited I was like oh my god my god I was just like grabbing him let's go to the light <laughs> and then my reaction was just like you guys I can't even it's just yeah but that was yeah that was my third most embarrassing experience I so this is my second to the last um, experience. So, <clears throat> um, in our family, we had a tradition where uh, every Christmas, we uh, my parents always buy us new clothes. Um, yeah, we always go to the mall and um, they buy us new clothes. So yeah, um, uh, especially Christmas, um, 
uh, the mall's like in shambles. Like everything's just everywhere because it's a sale, like Christmas sale and everything. So, so um, it was just basically chaos. And for me with RP, I don't have peripheral vision or or it was kind of dim. Uh, it wasn't really that dim, but for me it was dim because it was not sunlight. So I was like looking for clothes, looking for clothes. Um, yeah, just checking out the racks and stuff like that. And for some reason, all of a sudden, I like about face and I'm like <gasps> I like saw this really really nice like thing or like a blouse and I was like feeling it <laughs> all of a sudden it was not I thought it was a mannequin and oh my goodness it was not a mannequin it was it was a dude so I was feeling up a dude and and it was it was so bad because I was like just like about face and like started putting my hands up and like down and up his chest and the guy was like when I just I, when I reached the top I saw his face it was it was like mm. <laughs> it was I don't know what I was like I didn't even apologize or whatever I just ran for my life <laughs> I was so, it was so bad, it was such a bad experience, <laughs> embarrassing, but I could never forget his face, he was just like, mm. like, what's she feeling me like? <laughs> he didn't even say anything, he just made me feel him, like, from up to, like, I was like, wow. <laughs> yeah, that was, it was so embarrassing, like, I could not... I, I, I swear to God, like, my face was so red. I ran for my life. I don't even know where I ran, but I just ran because I didn't want to see that dude again. I was like, because his face was so priceless. And he's like, mm. <laughs> if, like, if you were if, if you were in his shoes and someone started feeling you, like, <laughs> that's how my face went. <laughs> But yeah, it was so embarrassing, <laughs> and that wasn't even my my that wasn't even my last experience of feeling people. I've I've done this a million times, but his reaction was just so priceless. I just couldn't, you know, couldn't forget about it. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's why. So now, because of that, I just stop feeling mannequins because. Cause, cause uh, usually it's always a person, and and I always, you know, stop myself from like, just, just you know, like impulsively touching stuff. Cause usually I just touch wrong things. So yeah, so that's my second experience. So this is my last experience. So um, it's not really so much as embarrassing as it is terrifying. So um, I was in my first year of college. So basically it was like my second day of college. And um, usually in our school, um, we usually have like a freshman orientation or a freshman gathering. So it was basically like a concert or something like just um, for freshmen to like mingle with each other and have fun and uh, welcome to the school and stuff like that. So it was around like 6 p.m. until 10 p.m. So it was really dark. It was basically a concert. So um, me and my cousin, we decided to go and check it out. So she was also so um, same as me, freshman. So we were like, yeah, let's check it out. Let's let's see if um, it's fun and stuff like that. So um, when we went there, it was crazy. It was chaos. So basically just like a concert. And um, because it was chaos, um, uh, my cousin was um, leading me. Uh, she was holding me because it was so dark. And then... Um, everything was just super fast so she was walking fast to like go around everywhere and um, suddenly I just um, you know like ran into something and I think I like touched something in my hands but I didn't know what it was but because it was just so fast I, w I didn't know what it was I didn't know if it was a something or a person I wasn't really sure what it was it was just soft so um, sh and then my cousin was like yeah let's go let's go so it was like super fast and she was like she was like um um holding or tugging me and tugging 
there's a lot of tugging in here. She was like, yeah. And then um, suddenly, um, a guy was like holding my hand, like an older guy. He was holding my hand and de then he was tugging me in the opposite direction. And I was like super shocked. I was like, what the hell is happening? Like, like should I go with him? But he was like really, really like, like hand on my wrist and tugging me and she was like you're you're in a big trouble lady young lady and I was like what I was just like this is my second day in freshman what did I do wrong so so he was like tugging me and he was like leading me to the office and also so my cousin was like shocked so she followed us and he was just like so mad and he was just like tugging me and and like he sat me down in an office so it was like a student affairs office so um, apparently that guy was like the chairman of that office or the head of that office and he was so mad because I accidentally like did this to his like neck it wasn't even it wasn't even like hard it was just like he was so mad at me because he said I did not apologize for what I did and he was like nagging me like ah, you did you did this and you didn't even apologize and blah blah and, and you know what you did I'm gonna confiscate your ID and blah blah he was just like screaming at my face and I was so shocked and I had to explain myself I'm really I was crying at this, this point I was like I'm really really sorry oh my god I'm blind and and I didn't see you and I didn't I just didn't see you sir I'm so sorry and it was just so fast and I didn't want my cousin to um leave me because she was also you know like uh, holding me and stuff like that and and he did not listen to me and then my cousin started crying and she was like she's blind please just she didn't mean to do this it was partly my fault it was like like um I didn't know that she hit something, it was dark and all that, and he did not listen to both of us. He was just yelling, was like, you know what you did, blah, 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 and he was such a bad person, I swear to God, like, every time I think about this um, experience of mine, it always gives me, like, the shakes or get me teary-eyed because of how bad that experience was. I mean, like, you can just imagine I was just in my first year of college and it was my second day and I already am in a student affair office and I didn't even do technically didn't do anything wrong because I didn't like purposely like do that to him and I'm blind and I have like you know I, I have an explanation that I didn't see him but he did not he just did not listen he kept screaming and shouting so what happened was, um, she was like, I'm gonna call your parents, and blah, blah, blah. Who's your parents? Give me the number, blah, blah, blah. So what happened was, um, I told her, I mean, I told him, um, my mom's name, and then he stopped. Like, he just stopped nagging. He was like, oh, you're her daughter? And I was like, yes, sir, I am his, her daughter. And she was like, oh, okay. And then, you know what happened? This is, this is so this is just so bad so uh, my mom um, was uh, before I was managing like a financing company and um, apparently that dude um, he borrowed a big sum of money and he has not paid it yet so he's like trying to be in good grace with my mom so that's the only reason why he stopped screaming at my face like he literally just stopped because he, because I basically like name drop my mom but I wasn't really name dropping her I just told her that she's my mom and he like softened and he didn't even apologize for what he did he just like like next time you have to do this and I'm like <laughs> I was already crying and I was like terrified of that guy and it was it was it was a, a really really crazy experience and I mean like I know that um there are a lot of good people in this world but there are always these bad seeds lying around and I'm pretty sure um, one of these one of um, once in a lifetime you would probably come to encounter these types of people especially us disabled people um, some people most people would understand us if we explain to them but there are always these people that just do not you know just don't care at all so um, whatever happens you just have to you know hold on and you know not get 
this one down not get these experiences get you down just you know remember that in this world there's still a lot of great things like they are just you know part of of our experience and they probably will make us stronger if it just you know you just won't let it let it get through you and i mean it got through me i mean it it literally shook my 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 um my life that time but i got through it i got over it and um yeah but even though i, I still think about it, it just makes me like wow like what happened to that guy now i don't even know but yeah it was it was just crazy it was like the crazy experience that I did. so if you guys have reached this far on my videos thank you so much you guys are so sweet thank you so much for listening and i hope you guys had fun and um and then laugh and even maybe you know like cried a little I don't know but yeah that was so much fun I love um, sharing you guys all my experiences especially having this uh, very rare eye condition I am pretty sure I am not alone um, I have my sister with me she also have RP but I'm pretty sure it's not just me and my sister who have RP I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people who have RP and we might have the same experiences and this is not just for people who have RP this is also for everybody I'm pretty sure you guys guys have embarrassing experience too so if you guys want to share that embarrassing experience you guys should leave it in the comment section below and if i like your comment i might post it in my next video and i will be pumping out more videos for you guys to check out so once again thank you so much and i'm g and i hope you guys have a great day bye